Travis Shaw on his own 49-yard line. Three wide receivers right side. Takes the snap. Rolls right side. Shaw stumbles. Pump fakes. One time. Throws deep down the field. They're all there. Fair play. Also dip is down. Down to the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Alshon Jeffy. 51 yards. It's not a Hail Mary when you throw it to one. A shocker right before the half. Boom. You gotta love Todd Ellis. Well, Game Pack Nation got the 11th win of the season, first time in school history. And the only way to go now is up. Um, where, where do I start about starting this game? Um, Shaw played great. Well, first off, this this game, you go watch my uh, the pre pregame video that I made it about a month or two ago. I pretty much said <laughs> exactly what happened. They would stick with us by halftime. We'll pull away. Um, just more physical team. They're faster team. And we would just wear them down and pull away. Um, and Shaw played great. Uh, took a few sacks, but um, with time and experience, that'll he'll have that switch. Pretty much tells him that he needs to get rid of the ball. Um, Jeffrey played outstanding. Uh, first 100-yard game of the season, I think. Um, he got ejected. I'll get on that in a little bit. But still won MVP. Um, what else? Um, it says right here he had an average of 37 yards <laughs> Per pass, he got four receptions, 148 yards, and an average of 37 yards. That's good. Um, our defense played lights out. In or first quarter, we were a little shaky, which I would understand. Um, but second qu or second quarter on, they held them to nothing. They couldn't do anything. I mean, they would get yardage, yeah, but that red zone defense. And those penalties, holy shit. Those refs, I don't know if they got those from like the WNBA refs or something. Those refs were horrible. But um, but anyway, our defense played outstanding, as usual. Um, What else? Miles had a pretty good game. He had like 87 yards, I think, or something like that. No, I don't think it was, I think that was Rex Burkhead that I 87. He had a pretty good game. He got, he got his first touchdown of the season, too. I'm proud for him, and I think he's coming back next year. Um, now let's start on the negative side. First, let's start with that fight. Well, you, I guess you can call it a fight. Um, Jeffrey shoved him. The dude was throwing punches at someone's helmet like a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm going to go over there and punch his helmet. That'll really hurt him. You got to think, dude. Well, first off, he was holding Jeffrey the entire damn game. And then you're going to throw punches at someone's helmet? And they eject both of them. Because, for I, I guess they thought Jeffrey punched him or something, and they looked at the tape, and I guess they're like, oh, we fucked up. Um, but yeah, Jeffrey shoved him, and he was throwing punches like an idiot. Um, I don't know how he never even got called for any of the holding, but that's Big East refs for you. Second thing, Bo Pelini, whatever your name is, um... You, sir, have anger management <laughs> issues. You were on the sidelines screaming your head off for what reason? What is that going to solve? For one, your face is all red. One thing you'll solve is give yourself a stroke or a heart attack. Um, I heard, I saw you mouth something about holding. Um, you need to go watch your own players. And during the post-game press conference, you said that you still think that thought that you had the better team. The only good thing about your team was Burkhead and Taylor Martinez. Well, kind of Taylor, but mostly Burkhead. Um, it, you, you really don't have anything else. How are you going to tell 30 to 13, and you're still going to say that you were the better team? That's That just baffles me. It's, it really confuses me, sir. Um, but... We saw who the better team was, the better coach team, the better prepared team, and the better team won. 
Well, guys, that's all I can say about the game, but I can start on next year. Can you, do you, seasoned quarterback in Shaw that can throw and run? He throws the prettiest freaking ball I've ever seen. Um, seasoned quarterback, we get our entire running core back. We get like three players, three running backs and one uh, fullback. We get, our line will have more, our O-line will have more experience. I think they're pretty young. The only person on the O-line I think we're really losing is uh, Kyle Nunn because he didn't get a sixth year of eligibility. Um, if Jeffrey comes back, that'll boost our receiving or receiving core up tremendously. But if, he, but if he leaves, I'm pretty sure we'll find somebody to replace him. I think we already got the, like, number 15 on the, um, on in a, uh, ESPN's uh, one, top 150 recruits, I think it's, it's his name is Shaq, and he's like he's under athlete. He can play running back, wide receiver, but I think we'll put put him at wide out. Um, in defense, our entire secondary is coming back if uh, Gilmore comes back, which they're saying he is because he doesn't want to. He's not going to leave. Uh, um, Jesus. Forgot my entire the entire secondary. Um, Shaq, no, Swearinger. I think they went. To, I think him and Swearinger went to the same school. Um, but entire secondary is coming back. Our the only the we're losing Ingram, we're losing Robertson, and I think we're losing Antonio Allen to the draft. Um. We'll have to fill those guys in. We still got Jadavion Clowney, which is a fucking monster. I think to, I think next year is going to be a big year for us. I can just feel it. Um. All right, guys. Well, that's all I can say about this game. Probably the last football video besides uh, recruiting, or whatever, recruiting since uh, signing day is right around the corner. Um, hunting videos will be coming up. Equipment, uh, stuff like that. Well, guys, um, I'm going to go and enjoy this 11th win. And I'll see you all later. Peace.